kind of a creepy place to be at night. Hello. It's about midnight now. Everything's charged and ready to rock. I'm going to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning. I I I I just I forgot to turn the microphone on. The Rode Mic Pro Plus turns on and off with the camera. They didn't have one at the camera exchange in San Antonio, so I got the Pro and I kind of regret it. It's magic hour right now. The sun's going down and this levee that I'm standing on is where the proposed border wall will be built. The Rio Grande is still south. There's farms to the north and there's even farms in between the proposed wall and the river. So it will be kind of a no man's land, which doesn't really make any sense. And beside me is the Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge, the NWR. They have over 400 types of bird species. They're a host to a lot of tropical, somewhat rare, mostly indigenous species to this area. It still blows my mind that it's tropical down here. It's like being in Florida. Also, so check it out. The X, I don't even know how you pronounce, X Muse camera, it's an X7. We've got three different lenses for it. This is the 16 right here. I mean, uh, we, uh, you can't really tell much of a difference. 16, 24, I got a 50. That's, a, yeah, this is a 50. I'm, I'm trying to get some different shots with different lenses. It's been very frustrating up to this point because if the weather didn't screw it up, my skill did. So I'm gonna get back to flying. The sun is setting. It's our job. Sunrise, sunset, fly, daytime, drive, hang out, sleep, upload footage, figure out what went wrong, do it all over again. Yeah! This is the part that sucks. I know what shot I want to get. That'll be beautiful. Deek, deek, deek. Battery's dead. So, <clears throat> my job is to be in the right place at the right time for sunrise and sunset, which is about 40 minutes a day, and to have the batteries charged. So, today is complete. Now we got to get to the next right place. Now, me. Border Patrol so far has been pretty cool, man. Like, you got city cops like hanging out in town, and especially like when they're rookies and they got something to prove, they're they're just kind of assholes. But Border Patrol, dude, they don't they like aren't messing with anybody. They're just hanging out down here in the tropical climate, chilling, like I guess waiting for something to go wrong. But even the people they deal with are relatively non-violent. Like, they just, they just want to cross. I guess sometimes they run into drugs, but even then they know they're caught, and like, the bosses that would fight to get away sure aren't going to be there, because they don't want to even have to get away. They'll just pay somebody else to do it. Overall, I like the Border Patrol. Is it easy to cross the border still? <laughs> Terribly. That orange ball behind us, that's what I really needed to shoot tonight. And I was too early and ran all my batteries dead before it happened. Experience, practice makes perfect, and this is definitely proving to be true on this. Sometimes it's just like, shoot, I got a lot of respect for guys that can run like multiple cameras in multiple locations. We missed the time lapse, the ball was gone. And there's Border Patrol pulling up. So we got to roll! It's a one way road! Wide lens is hard to work with. Pow! 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 pow. Those are giant bougainvilleas, I believe. Don't know what type the palms are. Sable palms are really popular, but I don't think those are sable palms. And the way you get that beautiful trunk is to clean all the fronds off as they grow, or else it just turns into a, a big nasty mess. I don't particularly want to leave here yet. I don't think anybody in their right mind would want to leave here. Beautiful. The only place better than this 
might be the theme. Alright, so this is the part where we got to upload footage, look at what we shot today, and figure out what we did right and wrong. And charge batteries. You know, that thing you got to do at the end of every day? Like, just like plugging a cell phone in at night. You got to charge all the batteries, and then like reflecting on your day at work, or life, relationships, figure out what went right, what went wrong, and then correct it. We have to learn from our mistakes. It's not a failure to make a mistake once. It's a failure to do it twice. You know, I want to try something. Huh, did it look like I hit myself in the forehead? New transition. That was an accident when I figured it out. One of my favorite sayings is, screw me once, it's your fault. Screw me twice, it's mine. We gotta learn from our mistakes. I guess that's what today's been about. This house has been here since the 60s. Seems like everything's in pretty good shape and the owner told me that it used to get broken into because there's a lot of activity out here. It's creepy at night, there's all kinds of weird sounds, but we're only a quarter mile from the border. I could not imagine walking through the brush out here. It's crazy. It's like cutting through a tropical Jungle, it's a jungle is exactly what it is, but it's also mixed with the harsh Texas desert plants that are full of thorns and poisonous stuff and poisonous snakes and I don't even know what else out there, but I don't think I'd be one to walk be one of walking through it. Wanna walk through it in the night of the night. It might be kind of scary and I think I'd get hurt. But you know, I guess uh, people do some pretty amazing things for their kids especially, and I think that's probably one of the number one reasons that immigration exists. So, we're headed to Boca Chica tomorrow. This is all for today. I love you guys, I hope you have a great night, and I will see y'all soon.